What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple just released iOS 12 beta 4 to register developers today on July 17th, which just so happens to be World Emoji Day. So let's take a look and see if Apple added any new emojis to this fourth beta of iOS 12 on Emoji Day. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the size and the build number for this fourth beta. So you can see right here, it came in at 554.7 megabytes here on my iPhone 8 Plus. That was coming from beta three. Of course, the size will vary depending on your device and where you're coming from. And if we head over to settings, Go to general about and take a look at the build number. You can see it's 16A5327F. All right, so now let's briefly talk about beta three and then let's talk about the changes here in beta four. So I don't really have too much to say about beta three. It did come out when I was on vacation in Jamaica, so I didn't have my other device with me. I did bring my camera, but I didn't have my other device, so I could not make a video for you guys on beta three, but I will say that it was very solid. It was extremely stable and I didn't really notice too many bugs. There were a few bugs that I'm gonna mention here in a minute, but overall it was very, very impressive. Battery life and performance was great. And so far, let me just tell you right off the bat that beta four seems pretty much the same as beta three. It's very solid, very fluid. It's a little early to talk about the battery life, but I'm imagining it's probably gonna be about the same as beta three. So definitely no complaints so far there. Right, so now let's talk about the changes here in the fourth beta of iOS 12. So the first thing is the control center grabber up at the very top looks a little bit more bold and pronounced than it did in beta three. And then if we close the control center, you're gonna notice that the animation is just a little bit more smooth than it was in beta three. It's just a very subtle difference, but you will definitely notice a difference uh, as far as like fluidity and just the overall smoothness of that animation. If we had over to settings and go to iCloud. There's going to be a new menu option right here for share my location. And then of course, when you click on that, it will show where you want to share your location from as well as anybody that you have location sharing enabled with. Another change that I found out about through Reddit is that if you go to the cellular settings right here and you go to your cellular data, where it basically shows you, you know, how much data you're using per application and now sorts it by whatever application is using the most data. Now, obviously I do not have cellular enabled on this device because I do use an iPhone 10, but I did notice that it actually refreshes and it kind of reloads a lot. So that may be a bug you run into here in the fourth beta of iOS 12. But it is pretty nice now that it does sort by whatever is using the most data. So one of the bugs that I was talking about that I noticed in beta three is that Fortnite would actually crash every single time I tried to play it on beta three. But now on iOS 12 beta four, if we go into a match, you'll notice it will be able to land and actually play without any kind of crashing. So you can see that I landed just fine, no crashing at all here on beta four. I could not get this far in beta three. Now, another thing in beta three that was giving me issues was actually the screen time tab. So if we go over here, screen time, you can see that it now loads up perfectly fine. We do not have any type of crashing on beta four. And then if we go to our screen time right here, you can see that we actually have individual pages for each application now, which is really nice. So if you're monitoring your kid's iPhone, you can actually see how much they're playing Fortnite. Pretty cool little addition there to the screen time feature in iOS 12. And then finally, incognito mode, AKA private browsing is back in iOS 12 beta four. Some people were not able to do this in beta three. They weren't actually allowed to go into private mode into incognito mode for whatever reason. I never had that issue, but some people did, but now it is back for everybody here in beta four. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much all I found so far for iOS 12 beta four. I'm sure there are plenty of other changes and features out there that I haven't covered yet, but that's just what I found from the initial hour of playing around with it. Unfortunately, there were not any new emojis in this fourth beta, even though it was World Emoji Day, but we will definitely be seeing new emojis in the final release of iOS 12. Again, performance is great. I'm sure battery life is gonna be great, just like it was in beta three as well. If anything notable changes, I will definitely make a follow-up video. If not, I will just talk about beta four in the fifth beta video, which will be coming out probably either next week or the week after. But if you guys have any other features or changes that you found that I didn't cover in this video, let me know down in a comment below. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS 12 coverage. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.